Hello again, welcome to today's attempt at the Steptal Puzzle. On this day in 1929, Imelda Marcos was born, the Filipino uh, politician, former first lady, uh, and to mark this occasion, there is one fact that apparently uh, most people know about her, which is that at one point she had over a thousand pairs of shoes. And so basically to mark this occasion, I'm going to be using some types of shoes as my starting guesses, because why not? It's kind of arbitrary anyway. So we're going to start with a good old clog. Solid clog gives me an O. That's not too bad, but let's go for a nicer rose. Oh, I still haven't got the O in the right position. How unlucky is that? It's got to be first or last, of course. Let's try first. Okay, that is right, but I have omitted the other two correct letters until now. We will move on to skate. I'm not suggesting that she had any clogs or skates, by the way. I'm just using types of footwear as my starting guesses. Because it's as good a way of picking starting guesses as any, isn't it? Now, we've ruled out E, S and T. I was not really expecting that, but at least we got the A. Let's move it along a bit. Wow. <laughs> this is going just as badly as the first one. Is the A going to be first? Or is it going to be towards the end of the word? How about valid? That's a valid guess. Oh, it's not a valid guess. I, for some reason, thought that the A... And, uh, uh, I was thinking that the A is fourth in valid, even though clearly I spelt it right. So I, I don't know what I was thinking. Let's just move everything along. That's at least getting valid did help me, because it ruled out some letters and it made it much more likely that it would be an AL beginning. Anyway, that was annoying. We will move on to a brogue. The B is in the word, but not first. So I guess a B-L-E ending is quite likely. In fact, it's very viable. Oh, but it's not, because it's still not in the right position. So it's not even something like stable. So what are we going to do next? The only vowels we can use are the A and E. So it feels likely that we're going to have a duplicated one of those. I don't know which. Um, a A B beginning feels quite plausible, like a bridge, or something like that. But obviously, that's wrong for several reasons. Um, ab, 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 something. I mean, it could be a duplicated B, couldn't it? It could be A B B A. I feel like that's a plausible start to a word. But I'm not sure if I'm just thinking of things like attain that use that pattern, but obviously not with a B. Um, I can't even be enable or embalm. It could be B A S E ending, perhaps debase. Oh, debate obviously is a much more common word. I was just looking at the S because it's a more common letter. That should have been a three, ah, oh, but it was a four. Anyway, we will end with loafers if I spell it right. Gives me three letters, including the F. So are we going to try an F-U-L ending, or am I just going to put the F somewhere towards the beginning? Maybe try an I-N-G ending. It could be F-A something. It could be falling, couldn't it? I don't like trying the duplicated L, but it's got to be worth a shot. Oh, failing. That's so unlucky. Duplicated I instead of duplicated L, but that was pretty quick, so I'm, I'm not going to be too disappointed with that. I like it when I don't get too stuck on the six and seven letter words, because they're obviously longer than regular word, so I've had much less practice and they're more difficult. But we got through it okay today, five guesses remaining, and in fact I solved that last one too quick, didn't I? Because a quadruple four pattern would have been nicer, but this is less guesses, so I'm not going to complain. So that is the Steptal Puzzle. Thank you for watching, and now go and try on some shoes. Bye for now.